Okay, so consider the following statements about the cell wall composition. These three statements are given, and here cell wall composition is given for bacteria, for fungal, for fungi, for algae, and for plants. So the correct answer: bacterial cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan. This is true. Fungal cell wall is not made up of cellulose; it's made up of chitin. This is false, and this statement is also true that animal cells they lack cell wall, and hence. option c is correct next question which of one of the following is not present in prokaryotic cell see the basic difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell type is about their uh, nuclear membrane right so it's nucleus in prokaryotes nucleus is not fully developed in plant cell wall which one of the following contains their own dna okay so here plastids and mitochondria chloroplast are a type of plastid they have their own dna and ribosomes so this is what question asks so mitochondria and chloroplast are the ones which have their own dna as well as proteins the okay, next question one advantage of sexual reproduction over asexual reproduction is so uh, the advantage is that it produces more variation in the springs due to recombination because dna of two parents is involved whereas in asexual one parent is involved so uh, the offspring offsprings are clones of their parents which of the following structure or component is not always present in living cells we know that animal cells they lack cell wall right so this is the answer rest all the other organelles are present browning of chopped apple can be minimized by so see here few methods are given to prevent uh, corrosion and to prevent rancidity and to prevent oxidation of food okay so uh, in order to prevent oxidation it can be preserved in a container next which of the following are arranged as per increasing order of their boiling point this question can be answered from our knowledge of saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons uh, sorry uh, the knowledge of homologous series so the order is propane butane pentane octane okay so increasing order of homologous series so this is the answer Next question: Which one of the following apparatus is used for separating benzene and water mixture? So see what's given in notes. So see separating funnel. Separating funnel is used uh, for two immiscible liquids, benzene and water. They are immiscible liquids, so they both can be separated by using separating funnel. Next question: An iron nail dipped in copper sulfate solution turns brown. This is due to which type of reaction? see this one is example of displacement reaction right so answer is the change in color is due to displacement reaction next question among the following which is not the correct method for keeping the curd so let's see from notes so here points to remember curd and sour substances should not be kept in brass and copper vessels because they are acidic in nature and they can produce toxic compounds so very straightforward question answer is keeping them in copper vessel next toothpaste prevent tooth decay by so here we have two option neutralize you know the two options uh, for which we can be confused neutralizing the excess acidity the action of chloride answer is neutralizing the excess acidity so here it is given in notes in tooth decay the ph of mouth reaches below 5.5 and hence the toothpaste available are basic in nature so they you know neutralize the excess acidity this is the answer next question this is from optics uh, a rectangle abcd is kept in front of a concave mirror of focal length f its corner a and b respectively at a distance 2f and 3f from the mirror uh, <clears throat> from the mirror 
with AB along the principal axis as shown in figure. It forms image A dash, B dash, C dash, and D dash in front of the mirror. What is the ratio of uh, B dash, C dash to A dash and D dash? Uh, so see, uh, the object is kept at 2, uh, 2F, that is at curvature. So the image formed will be uh, of same size. And also uh, AD and BC side of triangle are same. So ratio will be 1. Next question, a railway wagon of mass M1 is moving with speed V1 along a straight track. As a result of rain, after some time, it gets partially filled with water so that the mass of the wagon becomes M2 and speed becomes V2. Taking the rain to be falling vertically vertically and water stationary inside the wagon, the relation between two speeds is. So see, this concept is based on conservation of momentum. Because that ma uh, uh, Momentum is always conserved. Formula for momentum is M into V. Okay. So, C is the correct option. It describes, it, uh, it says that momentum is conserved. Next question, which one of the following is not a main greenhouse gas? Water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane are very potent greenhouse gases. Oxygen is not a greenhouse gas. Ozone is a greenhouse gas, but not water vapor. Which one of the following statement about X-rays is not true? See, it's very important to remember uh, wavelength range of few electromagnetic rays. Okay, uh, so we know the electromagnetic range of, uh, sorry, the wavelength range of X-rays. It's one angstrom, and they are produced by bombarding a metal target by high energy electrons. They are used to treat certain forms of cancer, but uh, they are not used for radar system. The statement which is not true is option C. So it says due to their wavelength being shorter, these can be used for radar systems. No. Next, organism capable of using carbon dioxide as principal carbon source are called, they are called autotrophs, that is green plants, right, by the process of photosynthesis. Next, when yeast cells are oxygen deprived, Fermentation serves as a source of energy. This results in the production of. You see, in the uh, absence of oxygen in anaerobic respiration, energy is produced, but uh, along with that, uh, lactic acid is produced in, in case of muscle cells. But here, in case of yeast, pyruvate is produced. So ATP, oxygen plus pyruvate. Okay, next, which one of the following is not a characteristic feature of fungi? So here some feature of fungi are given in notes, right? Uh, they are uh, very precise. Which one of the following is not a feature? So fungi cannot carry out photosynthesis. They are saprophytic organisms. The mode of uh, nutrition is saprophytic. Which one of the following statement about bryophytes is not correct? So see, bryophytes, okay, bryophytes, they have no specialized tissue for conduction of water and other substances. So this is the statement which is not true and is our correct answer. So specialized conducting tissue are present, they are absent. Okay, what is the specific, specific purpose of using potassium hydroxide during sponification reaction? So see, during sponification reaction, uh, potassium hydroxide solution is used or sodium hydroxide solution is used. The eventual product is glycerol and soap. The glycerol which is formed, uh, uh, it provides, uh, it retains moisture of the skin. So option B, to obtain soaps which are soft on the skin. Which of the following is correct arrangement in decreasing order of their reactivity? So this is the reactivity series, right? We have to remember its order. So from reactivity series, the correct sequence is sodium most reactive, followed by iron, then copper, and then, sorry, last one is silver. Which one of the, next question, which one of the following statement is not correct with regards to, regards to allotropes of carbon? 
So graphite is going to conductivity. We know diamond is hardest substance. Chlorine is the allotrope. Last option says that next to diamond, graphite is the second hardest known compound. No, this is not true. Graphite is very, uh, not very soft, but uh, it is soft than most of the other elements that we know. Okay. Next, which one of the following is popular method for manufacturing of ammonia? Manufacturing of ammonia is by Haber's process. Answer is by Haber Bosch process. Okay, so here uh, about graphite is given. Okay, next for the manufacturing of glass, which of the following is used as source of silica? So, see, silica is an oxide of silicon SiO2, and uh, the source of silica is silica sand. Option D. Next question asked about the correct arrangement of oxidizing nature. So see, uh, flora, uh, fluorine is, uh, has the most oxidizing power, followed by chlorine, bromine, and iodine. So increasing order is uh, iodine, bromine, chlorine, and fluorine. Okay, so these are general questions that we uh, did in class. We, Copper sulfate crystals are available in market. They are blue in color, but after heating, they turn white. So the blue color was due to hydration. That was due to water of crystallization that were present. So after their removal, uh, we have only copper sulfate, which is white in color. So this is due to water. Next, equal volume of all gases. Uh, this question is from uh, states of matter chapter. Equal volume of all gases when measured at same temperature and pressure contain equal number of particles. So this law was proposed by Avogadro's. Any direct statement. Next, airbags works on the principle of a chemical reaction triggered by the impact producing a gaseous product. So see, the gaseous product produced is nitrogen gas and it is produced by sodium azide. Formula for sodium azide is NaN3. So option A, sodium azide into nitrogen gas. Okay, next to medical, uh, the power required to lift 8 kg up a vertical distance of 4 meter in 2 seconds, taking into consideration acceleration due to gravity assess. So see, this question is based on very simple formulas. First, we need to know the formula for force, which is uh, the second, which is according to second law, force is equal to mass into acceleration. And then formula for work is given, force into displacement. Last is a uh, formula for power, which is work done per unit time. So after solving this, we get 80 watt as answer. Okay, so here formula for power is given. Okay, and in laws of motion, formula for um, force is given. Example of second class lever. So example of second class lever is a bottle opener. In an electric circuit, a wire of resistance 10 ohm is used. If this wire is stretched to double of its original length, the value, uh, the well, uh, okay, of its original value, the current in the circuit would become. So see, we have done uh, many questions, uh, many this type of questions. Okay, so you just need to know this formula. R is equal to rho L by E. So you will find new resistance. The new resistance is one fourth of the original value. So the current will decrease by one fourth. So one fourth of its original value is the answer. Next is very simple question based on uh, the formula uh, of resistors in parallel combination. So this is the formula, you know, it's three R. So answer is three R by two. So this is the formula. Right. Next question. Okay. Which of the following statement is true? See a uh, very direct question, straightforward question from the gravitation. So uh, it's based on universal law of gravitation, which says that every object on this universe applies equal and opposite force to each other. So taking Earth as Moon as objects, they apply equal and opposite force on each other. 
So option D is the answer. The force of gravity of the Earth on the Moon and of the Moon on the Earth are equal in magnitude but are in opposite directions. Okay, next question is based on power formulas and uh, the formula that we get from Ohm's law. An electric bulb is rated 220 volt and 80 watts. When it is operated at 110, the power rating will be. First, we will find the constant quantity, which is resistance. Okay, once we get a resistance, uh, we, uh, which is now 605, and when V is 110, the power will be 20 watts. Okay. Okay, so these are the power formulas. Very important. Uh, three formulas for R. Okay, next few questions are uh, in the dispersion, white light by a, uh, by a common glass prism, which one of the following is correct? We know that, uh, okay, we, here we are given red and blue light. We know that red light deviates the least, but has maximum wavelength. Blue light deviates the most because blue light has highest speed in prism. This is the right answer. Which one of the following is true for speed of sound in a given medium? So see, uh, uh, light and, so uh, and sound, okay? The frequency remains the same even if they enter into some other medium, but the wavelength changes, right? So frequency always remains the same. So option A, speed of sound remains same at all frequencies is the answer. The last question, which one of the following telescope contain only mirrors? So it's Newtonian telescope, it contains two mirrors, spherical mirrors. Okay, so this is given about uh, uh, about speed of sound in different mediums. Okay. So that's all everyone.